I'm your neighborhood reporter Ezekiel Ramirez in Robertson County. I checked the pulse of the community after Calvert ISD canceled classes due to a spike in COVID cases. Calvert ISD deep cleaned its facility on Wednesday after a spike in COVID cases in the school district. I'm just hopeful, glad that everybody's back in session and then there's no kind of, it's germ free school now. I planned to speak to Calvert ISD, but no one was available for an interview. So I walked around downtown Calvert to talk to some neighbors about the COVID cases in the school district. Quincy McCullough worked for the school district as a custodian for 22 years. He tells me keeping the campus sanitized is essential for students. It protects the kids and the staff as well. So I feel like they should do their entire cleaning, however long it takes to clean the school. It's very important because even if you call or touch something, touch a water fountain or a doorknob, that is very contagious. And the next person that comes, comes behind them, they will get infected with that germ. So it's very important. I also ran into early May Ross, who has several great grandchildren in the school. It's very important. They need to sanitize the school very good and the buses, you know, and keep their hands washed but she tells me reopening school the next day was too soon. I don't feel very comfortable. They should have stayed closed the rest of the week and open back up next week, next Tuesday. I don't want to be around them, you know, because I don't want to catch COVID myself. McCullough tells me what he thinks Calvert ISD should do to help prevent this from happening again. Well, actually, I think it should be a thorough cleaning each week in order to keep the, uh, the germs clean. I reached out to Calvert ISD for an interviewer statement about the COVID spikes, but they were unavailable to comment. In your neighborhood of Robertson County, I'm Ezekiel Ramirez.